Thank you. I'm very happy to be here to introduce to you one of SSAB's interest, most interesting digital initiative, Smart Steel. As you could see here, this is a product we produce in our mills. It's a steel, pile steel. Not so digital, not so high-tech. Now this is starting to get a bit more interesting, more high-tech. A nice car, nice skyscrapers, and they all have steel in it. Bottom line is, steel is everywhere around us, and we use it daily. So what if steel was more intelligent? What if the steel in your car or in your house was, had a digital identity and was loaded with information that it would have gathered throughout its life, uh, life cycle that you could use daily? That is the concept we are working on uh, within our company, SSAB, with different partners in a consortium like Sandvik, PIA, Sverim, LTU, <coughs> and it's called Smart Steel. But uh, basically, it's a digital platform where we would gather and share all the information of steel throughout its life cycle, from when it was produced in our steel mills to when it goes to manufacturing, and then through delivery, usage, maintenance, until it's recycled back again to our steel production. And the main aim for after that is to have a more optimized, effective, and sustainable way of using steel. This is the basis of circular economy, but not only. It's also the basis of platform economy. And we have been working on different pilots and uh, ideas with different partners and customers to try to use the data in a most useful way during manufacturing. So basically, the data in our steel would connect directly to the machine so that the manufacturing is the most optimized possible. And while doing so, we realized that there's also one big challenge uh, that we're going to face, and it's how to have a unique product identity. And the further we move away from our steel plant towards the, uh, the, 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 the production chain or the life, ci life cycle change of the steel, it's going to be hard to identify a piece of steel. So this is also an aspect we are working on with our different partners. And, uh, most uh, uh, more specifically with LTU, and we are researching uh, how to use speckle patterns recognition to have a very uh, um, specific fingerprint of a piece of steel. And this is a quite interesting area. But the most interesting as well in this project has been the learning curve and how the project has been shaping out throughout its journey. And we have had a lot of interesting, actually, learnings, one of which is uh, when, how do we strike the balance between what data should we share or what data should be measured in the smart processing machine? And that has been also a challenge to understand what are the benefits of measuring it and what are the benefits of sharing that data. Another aspect that we have been encountering and learning is uh, the complexity of establishing business models, which are quite new, or data sharing conditions between different parties, especially when different partners are being involved. Who gets the benefits of uh, the data sharing and who owns the data that we share at the end? So this has been a quite challenging also aspect of the project. And uh, a third, I, I would say, big learning of this project has been uh, the that the digital and organizational readiness is, quite, is still quite low in most of the organization. So I would say the um, technology is there to be able to share the data. However, there's a lot of challenges in terms of organization, people, processes, and as well as legacy systems that exist to be able to achieve that. So it, was been, it has been really interesting. But Despite all these difficulties, we still want to pursue this journey and continue learning and understanding better how to do this because we strongly believe that the digital identity of materials will be the norm in the future. Thank you for your attention.